But the second very bad curse of the Western acquisition instinct is that they want to acquire, aggress others. Aggression, the aggressiveness. They think they have a right to aggress other countries. I mean, they aggressed our country for three hundred years. Why? Why did they aggress? We are not bad people. Because we had gold, we had diamonds, we had pearls, we had lots of things, which were just material things for which they aggressed us and they didn't take any spirituality from India. So the French aggressed, he's aggressed, all the time aggressing. Japanese are also following you. This aggression then moves the whole society into a very destructive force. You can see every day the wars are going on, this is fighting that, that is fighting that, they want this, they want that. And this aggression has also penetrated the developing countries, the third world also. So, nicely the disease is on. But Kundalini kills that acquisition. How? By giving you joy. You enjoy everything. You are sitting in a jungle, you are enjoying. Here in uncomfortable conditions, you enjoy. Because you seek the comfort of your spirit, because that gives you joy. Ultimately, that's what you get out of everything. You think you get joy by acquisition, you do not. But through Kundalini awakening, you get that joy. And in that joy, you don't want it. You don't ask for anything, you just enjoy yourself. You are the property of enjoyment. Sanskrit they say, Atmanne Vatmanahas Dukcha. The spirit is satisfied by its own spirit. So, into small things you must see joy and you must watch it, the whole universe, with that thing. I mean, when I'm traveling, I'll ask, what is this tree? Mother, we don't know. But you lived here for so many years, you don't know. No, Mother, we don't know much about trees. Acha, what are these flowers? We don't know. I mean, what are you doing? What have you been doing? You don't know what are the trees. Every day you watch them. You don't know what is the trees. But if you ask them, where do you get this wine? You never know. Mother, this is the place where they produce the best wines, all right, I'll see to it. And next year they had no fermentation. <laughs> so, this is the acquisition instinct which is very sort of a, which becomes a political asset that you go and aggress other countries, aggress other people and use uh, all kinds of things. And that really is killing. So the whole attitude of human beings changes. They think we are the Lord, we can hate anyone, we can aggress anyone, we could be arrogant with anyone, we can demand anything, we can take away anybody's wife, take away anybody's child, take away anything, we can kill our children. As a result, the love is lost. No question of compa compassion. Love is lost, compassion is lost. No love. And with that you also developed my and mine, sense of my and mine. Is that this is my child, this is my country, this is, as you know in Yugoslavia what they are doing. I don't know who gave the name, of yugo. Yugo means uh, yoga. This is the yoga sli yoga people fighting among themselves. This has come from the same root, that this is mine, this is my country. Why? Why? Well, how is it your country? 
you can't create one leaf. For who are you? You can't create little mud, can you? How do you say this is my country? How dare? This all belongs to God. He has created, or you can say Adi Shakti has created. You have not created even so much. How do you say this is mine and I should have it? So the my and mine thing also develops very strong. And the same thing happens with sometimes Sajogis very much. My children, this is the first curse. These are my children, my wife, my family. It starts growing like that. Then the heart shrinks. For a large-hearted man, the whole world is the universe, the whole thing is within, the whole thing is yours. When such a heart you experience within yourself, then Kundalini just shoots off, because as you know, the Sahasrara is the heart chakra. No question of Sahasrara catching, if you have a large heart. And to keep the Sahasrara open is just develop that sense, that wisdom, that nobody is mine, everybody belongs to God. Who is mine? Whatever God wants, let Him do. So get out of this small feeling. Sahaja Yogis do, I must say, I have seen it. They get confined to their families. My son hasn't got a Realization, my brother hasn't got a Realization, my this thing. After that it moves. When they get Realization, this is my son, my brother, my sister, this thing. This my has to drop, which is very, very subtle thing and that's why the Sastrara catches. Everyone is yours, because the Kundalini of Sahaja Yogis is made of love, pure love. The pure love has only pure desire is to love. Love everyone equally. When you say it is difficult, then means you are not trying Sahaja Enlarge your heart, you will never feel lost. To me, when I was leaving England, I was really a little bit, I mean, what happens like that, like a moon sucks in the sea, you see. I felt my heart was just pulled up. But I reach here, again I see my children waiting for me. So it's over finished. It's there I felt, now here I feel that pull of my heart was released. You are also my children here and they are also my children. For a mother like this, how can I so say, this is mine, this is mine? So, like this, try to break away. From this conditioning, first, in the West people don't care for family, they'll divorce ten times and advertise it, I'm tenth time divorced lady. Now they don't divorce, but so get attached with their family, with their husbands, like glue, I tell you, like glue. Sometimes I start wondering, what have I done to make them like this? So now, it is important to see these points and ultimately the heart is the Sastrara or you can call the Brahmarandra, then we have to come to heart. Do not reason out, do not argue it out, don't work it out mentally from books or anywhere, but through your heart, if you work it out, you will understand that nothing is more important than to love someone. And the highest thing is to love everyone equally. 